All right, so I'm going to be posting this before my videos, guys, and you can partake in it or not, but we're going to do some singing bowls, and I'm going to say a little prayer, and you're welcome to just sit and relax and free your mind up before the reading with me. Um, I just wanted to do this. I'll timestamp it, so if you want to go straight to your reading, that's fine, too. So we're going to go ahead and start. are meant for, to assist them on their journey of healing and spiritual growth. I appreciate your unconditional love and guidance. Thank you, angels, guides, ancestors, and Lord of love. Amen. <sighs> okay, guys, so singing bowls, I'm just going to relax and listen. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. I appreciate your continued support, your likes, your subscribes. Um, I'm getting ready to do Sagittarius' reading. So, Sagittarius, we are going to get kind of into it. These have been longer, and I have specifically picked um, a few decks that we'll be dealing with. Maybe a little shadow work, no big deal. We have to do that in order to get better and be more self-aware of our triggers and our, our shadows. So I did get called to just pull a door for you guys today. So I'm gonna pull a divine door for you and we got this door. Um, let's see here. It's really pretty door, it's light blue, it's really pretty. And it's the Odyssey. Take in the beauty of country lands and botany. Explore the wonder like it, just explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. That's really nice. Maybe get outdoors, get some fresh air. Prepare for unexpected news on the bottom. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's start with a little um prayer before we start. All right. Thank you spirit for your guidance, protection, and unconditional love. I am grateful for all known and unknown, seen and unseen, divine energy guiding, allowing and protecting us. As we receive these messages with an open heart and mind, I pray these messages of healing and protection reach those who need them and those who will fully embrace and express their own divine energy for the highest and most loving good. As we walk on the path of love, healing, and redemption, may your healing light touch, taint, and transmute all darkness with understanding, acceptance, and faith in the holy light of love. Amen. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so you guys rule the ninth house. The ninth house is the house of spiritual growth, expansion, philosophy, um, all that. Uh, let me 
go ahead and look here a little more. It has a lot in it, but it's foreign travel, religion, um, law and ethics, higher education, experience through expansion, through growth, spiritual growth especially, or religious philosophical growth. Um, that thinking outside the box and going beyond the limits of what you can see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get um, one of these um, wordless oracles, and I'm going to just put it up here by your door, and I'm just going to look at it, and we're going to pull a few cards and see what you guys get. All right, what do we got? Oh, nice. Okay, so I did do a, in your pre-shuffle um, when I was getting ready for your reading. Um, there was a lot of full moon energy, so you could be really going through a phase right now. By a phase, I mean the whole phase, the full moon to full moon. We're going to be having another full moon in Capricorn um, on July 3rd. The moon stood out to me in your reading. Um, you might want to check like what your moon is, where your placement is, which house that's in. Um, this could be really affecting the house that your moon is in. Um, because the last full moon we had was a Sagittarian full moon. So that would make a lot of sense why the moon is popping out. And I did feel like these, especially right now, it just feels really, really connected. This new moon, um, we just had, um, what was it in Gemini? And then before the full moon was in Sagittarius and our next one's in Capricorn on July 3rd. So, um, this is, um, the card you guys got. And there is a dreamy and, uh, kind of a really, really deep thoughts, really deep thoughts um, meditation, thinking a lot. Um, there is a lot, of, a lot going on in the in the mind space right now. Um, in this reading, there's just, um, but there's a, a really listening to your thoughts and trying to understand everything that you, that your mind is is speaking to you. All right, so let's go ahead and get um, a couple of these deep place oracles to go with this. And there is a few of these, you guys. I will read tree of life that's beautiful so this is um very spiritual reading i'm getting um you could be really in your uh ooh, and on that split was that full moon again and it said the moon on the split you guys um yeah this moon this moon energy is really strong in your guys' readings um well, and look at it that's the one that flew out you guys so the moon you know um, something about working with these phases of the moon and maybe paying attention to your planets right now and where they're at and what's affecting you right now. Right now, we don't have anything in Sagittarius, but that full moon was a biggie. And um, it is leading to that Capricorn um, full moon. And um, yeah, there's a lot. Retreat. You could be really staying to yourself right now, doing a lot of thinking, um, meditating, um, and spiritual work. Um, yeah, the shattered place. Okay, so back in back when I first got this deck, hold on, you guys, I gotta get this is gonna bother me. Okay, I had a couple little tea light casings that had fell on the floor. Then once again, I do want to point out that the moon is also in this card, and these are full moons, you guys. Um, except for this one, which would have been right after the full moon, as it's coming back around, so it would have been um, the uh, waning. Um, we are now. I believe in the waxing. Um, are we waxing? I don't know. I'm going to have to check that. Well, July 3rd, it's not too far away, but um, we did just have that new moon. So, yeah, we are waxing um, in the waxing phase, which means we're building. We're building our, we're building it all. We're building whatever we're working on inside. We're building whatever we're working on outside. It's really putting those intentions and thought into what you're doing. Um, there is a feeling here of just a, a constant um connection to the moon okay and to the night maybe even to the stars to thinking dreaming and being emerged in the emotions the moon is the feminine energy so it's about receiving so you may be receiving a lot of messages um through this lu luna you know through the luna the moon the mother um the the feminine um energy and it is really really coming up and um the tree of life it's just all really rooted here um it's like being submerged in a lot of emotions and needing to retreat to just let it all kind of flow through and that's what i feel like now with this shattered place which was on the bottom um back at, when i got this it's it's very interesting because this is a what I, what i feel as it's like a christ energy 
um, like the love of Christ, like the message. Um, and this is a message of unconditional love. This is a message of, um, it's not about where, it's not about the, the temple or the house or the body. It's about the message. It's about the message of love, forgiveness, peace, acceptance, um, understanding. You know, there's a, there's a lot you are accepting, understanding, coming to peace with, um, maybe contemplating your spirituality, religion, stuff like that. So that could be profound for you right now, Sagittarius. Okay. So let's go ahead and, um, I think what we're going to do is get, you're definitely being bathed in this Luna energy, this moon energy. Um, it's really strong in your guys' reading. So you could be even doing some shadow work. Um, but you're doing it, I say with a, with a, a calmness, there's a calmness to this. Um, and we'll see when, um, let's see, our first word out is innocence. With this, a lot of people have been getting this. This has kind of been a collective energy, you guys. It's the best things in life are free. Lack of corruption, freedom from blame or guilt, state of unconditionality. Not having conditions on yourself or others. There's a really nice um, understanding here. And it's like, hey, I understand this stuff's... Um, for free like nothing you know everything that means the most doesn't cost money and it doesn't um there's also i've been getting this message with this innocence card that if there is um a situation in your life where you feel any guilt shame um or this could be around you too there's innocence there people are learning people are growing and this, it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter um everybody um is kind of innocent you know we, we're all learning and it's definitely and then intuition and this is that moon energy and it says wonder is the beginning of wisdom you could be wondering about some things thinking about some things sifting through some really really deep emotional things um in your mind in your heart in your body and um you're understanding something about this innocence this and and it comes into that message the message of the um and I, every time i get that like that Christ energy, that Jesus energy, that message. It's, um, I always think of, you know, forgive them for they know not what they do. Um, that's always what comes to my head when, um, that, that message comes in. Um, so there could be something you're really trying to understand, forgive, um, put innocence into it and in, intuitively, um, going in and nurturing something that, um, you know, is, needs nurturing this could be yourself Sagittarius this could be somebody else in your life practicality better to have it and not need it <sighs> adapted for usefulness focus on reality rather than theory or appearance this is what this is you could be doing a lot of thinking about how important okay so this is the message I'm getting okay like when we put a lot of value on material stuff and physical stuff, it's kind of like that message where I said, it's not about the church, the body, the look, it's about the message. It's about how does it make you feel? So the practicality in this is there's, um, a feeling here of, is this useful to me in like in my reality or is this just, um, look like it's useful or something like that like how useful is the things people relationships jobs whatever in your life and um it also gives me this feeling of like this is better to have it than not need and not need it so it's kind of like um keeping things close that you know are practically practical to keep close to you this could be anything you guys this could be material stuff but i'm not getting that it's like a spiritual um feeling it's like a message keeping a message close to you or keeping something close to you um maybe it's that insight it's that guidance it's that um shadow keeping that 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 understanding close to you um because if you don't have that then you lose things in your life or you lose sight um this is interesting. You lose sight of the, the freedom and the innocence of the message, not the thing. It's very interesting. This feels like you're holding on to a message or something in your mind or in your thoughts as you're going through um, some kind of intuitive um, digging deep stuff. Like this feels very like 
they're doing shadow work and it's like better to have it and not need it like that understanding or that knowledge or that message um the best things in life are free hmm. this is very interesting and that's that's the unseen you know it's a lot of the best things in life are the unseen too not just um they aren't just free they're ours you know <laughs> we don't have to um they're ours and ours alone like this holding on to yourself your own innocence your own uh, intuition your own guidance your own practicality what you find useful in your life that you don't want to lose or you don't want to lose touch with because in in it's useful and uh, it's interesting the reality of something you're focusing on the reality of something rather than the appearance of it perception yeah this is something about seeing something differently you could be going really deep within and trying to see something differently trying to find a balance with some kind of um the message in the body like the physicality of it and the real energy of it like that 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 energy of this is what the church looks like and this is where they portray this but the real message is it's in this or it's in this and it's not just here there's very interesting um i got this a while ago um and duality that's that opposites um very different energy here um really trying to bring that that shadow and light i feel like you're um trying to stay in touch with something here within yourself that You're, you're wondering something you're learning something about yourself there's something um you're trying to learn because it's it's useful to know this or it's useful to have this knowledge or this understanding with yourself maybe it's an understanding with yourself um i am getting uh quite a bit here let's see all right guys let's go ahead and get um there's a feeling here of also staying centered um in your pre shuffle i got um staying centered in your heart space um, and that is also that kind of that Jesus energy or Christ-like energy message um, of, of being guided by your heart. Um, and maybe you are the heart and the head. That's that duality, the, trying to blend these two things together through shadow work, through the moon, through understanding. Um, the moon always says understanding to me um, and nurturing because it's like the mother, you know. It's like the mother energy and it's... Um, I feel that a lot with the mother like she's not always seen as like a really profound part of but she's like doing like all the hard work like like the emotional stuff behind the scenes like you know back in the day when a mom would just stay home take care of the kids blah 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 it was like the man was portrayed to be doing all the the, the heavy lifting but we we know as um and if you're a male, this, you know, and you could be doing that, that feminine, um, heavy lifting emotionally too, but the woman or the mother does a lot of that. And I feel like you could be doing a lot of that right now, that emotional lifting, the emotional, um, work here intuitively, just kind of being guided to, um, yes. And I did get that, um, like there's a real passion and like, a, a, it feels like a new kind of like spiritual journey here um okay let's see what we got here um because the world card had come out in your pre-shuffle and so did the ace of cups so that you can have a new emotional understanding a new emotional beginning um something really good um and i did get a a picture of a, a girl walking through the desert and the angel was up in the clouds guiding the the person through the desert which was very dry and um didn't have a lot of emotion you know so it's like going from like an unemotional place where your guides are leading you to a more emotional place and a more loving place a more um saturated place we got lightning so this is, can be very feeling very like things shifting within like and you're just taking it all in accepting the the changes and the shifts that are happening um looking at the the value in this the value in this shift or this change this innocence this intuition um having this and you know just understanding it's always there for you that's another thing i'm getting and renewal and this does this is um something's uh definitely 
shattering a perception or an idea you had and you could be just really taking all this in these messages i am feeling like you could be getting a lot of messages um about renewal renewing yourself self-creation here we go and desire yes so you have a very deep deep desire to recreate yourself self-create co-create with spirit um this renewal this get, bringing new new understanding to yourself and your life um that's that's usable and doable in your day-to-day -day. um and just wondering and thinking about this instinctual understanding immediately without need for conscious reason you are following your intuition right now you are being um led into a place of self-creation renewal there's an ignition so something's ignited that is that princess of wands that i got in your pre-shuffle it's that first spark of wonder about the spiritual um, nature of yourself others and kind of w starting to walk that really fiery passionate path of um transformation and creation um that's really nice okay that's really good okay so we are going to go ahead and get one of these yogic path ones you guys um Oh, again, uh, there's this, this, it did come out reversed. So I will re read the reversed meaning, but it's that shadow, dude. And it's um, that thinking and that meditating. And there's this feeling here of just uh, tons of water being immersed in the emotions being, but yet uh, understand, like, try, like, how do I put this? Understanding on an intellectual level, the emotional um, value here. There's an emotional value here. Um, and it's, I'm going to read that. It's called Dharana. And it did come out reversed. And this deck does have a reverse meaning. So I will read that. Um, I don't know if I ever say those cards right, you guys. But I try. 73. Okay. 73. Really nice. A lot of deep, deep thought here. Eight stages of Single focus concentration. Yes. It's this soul like that meditation that single concentration on doing something deep within intuitively following your and there's this nurturing this following your intuition this soaking up kind of the shadows and kind of showing them um an understanding maybe a that with that 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 christ energy and this is just like giving color to the shadow, giving life to it in a way that is quiet and um, understandable to you. That's what I want to say. It says, you've recently been burying your head under the sand, focused totally on your work. While there is profound insight to be gained from immersion, that's what I'm feeling like, you've been immersed. Um, you also must remember to look around you at what else life has to offer. Concentration requires inspiration. Take some time off from the work at hand and focus on the true work at large, embodying your fullest human experiences. And when I get, when I hear that, I feel like, okay, you've been deeply emerged in your, the self, the, the work, the probably some shadow work, some really um, spiritual stuff. And it's saying, now put that into action outside of yourself. Maybe take a break even. It's time to, it's, and this is kind of like hermit energy, but it's not. It's a little, it's it's really getting more in touch with that high priestess, getting more in touch with the that that energy and becoming, um, raising your psychic awareness, raising your um, intuitive understanding, stuff like that. That's what I'm getting. Um, but um, Spirit's saying, maybe take a break. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't mean you can never go back or whatever, but there's a feeling here of, um, applying it into uh, uh, your practical day in and day out life um, doing something with it so we will continue to get um, a few more cards i am going to pull the shadow card for you guys now this is just a tarot deck but this tarot deck has like some shadow it's it's pretty shadowy um but it has some really uh interesting queen of birds this is like the queen of swords and this isn't a bad um it I, it's not the images the images can be kind of uh, throw throw you off they're dark and kind of dreary images but um this is the queen of birds so it's kind of like uh, i think like the queen of air it says dull outlook austerity piety and knowledge or piety <sighs> so it's um gaining a new outlook 
with some spark, some life. Like I said, giving color to the shadow so it isn't so dull. Um, making something a little brighter within. And then now I feel maybe being called to make it brighter with like outside of yourself. Um, but there's a feeling here of uh, kind of sitting with sitting with your your wisdom and your this work, this shadow work, this moon work, and this moon is all over your reading. So I don't know if you've been doing some moon work, um, maybe since the full moon, like I said, but it's the perspective, the changing your perception um, and the perspective. I am getting that. Like there's a feeling here of changing your perspective with gaining inner knowledge, inner um, understanding. Um, looking at the freshness and innocence of your spirit and how it's, um, you know, there's always new newness there when you, uh, when you start seeing something differently or feeling something differently or understanding something on a different level, there's a new, uh, and in your case, maybe spiritual, um, path you're, you're, you're beginning to walk here. That's really nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and get, um, Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get Queen of Birds. And it has an owl on her head. You know, there's wisdom um, here. But it's almost like sometimes too much, like, owl energy. Because the owl is one of my spirit animals, you guys. So I get it. And I didn't even realize, like, I collected owls when I was young and stuff. But I didn't realize it was, like, my spirit animal until I was older. Because the owl doesn't really truly reveal itself as your spirit animal until you go into the the night you go into the moon energy you go into the shadows you go and you make it through and not only do you make it through but you thrive and that's where you almost um do your best work is um in in the the psyche the psyche the deep the emotional the um the unseen you know it's interesting it doesn't uh, but it has definitely revealed itself um and i'm grateful for for that um sometimes it just feels um, well, are we going to get a Cali card? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, nice. This is some warrior energy. Let's read it. Kali Kalmasa Nasini. It is time to free yourself from what has been. Learn from it, but not allow it to define you. That's what this innocence is, you guys. Like, there could have been something here that you're, like, um, maybe struggling with that either you've lived through, done... Um, but now you're realizing, I just didn't know, like, there's things I'm learning, I'm innocent, or somebody else is, or, you know, you're looking at things more in an innocent um, perception, and it's bringing a new um, understanding, more um, blending of these two, like, right and wrong, um, good and bad, all this kind of blending those um, two energies. Uh, it says, learn from it, but not allow it to define you or direct the course of your life. Give up your stories about the past. <sighs> Release your past stories. You have outgrown them. Kali consumes mistakes, sins, and negativities. So if you had a different perception or you were looking at things like old stories, old past things, and it just had a real negative energy to it, um, sins, mistakes, um, Kali comes in and the spirit's coming in and saying, we are... Um, asking you to remove those stories from your life, remove that negativity, and we're going to help you clear that out. And I believe you're going to do this. You're doing this through that, this shadow work. Um, this does feel like you've been doing some shadow work. Let her free. You now, ne you now, hold on, let me, let her free you now so you can be open to the gift of your life unfolding. I feel like you've been in this energy of clearing and freeing, um, up a new path forward, a new perception, a new um, story, a new, um, maybe releasing some of that mentality of um, others or yourself not being innocent or being right or wrong, bad or good, stuff like that. Like you're really trying to blend these two. I do get that here. All right, let's see here, you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and get just a couple of tarot here. the Hierophant, and it did come in reversed. 
yeah, working on that spirituality, take, learning some lessons maybe, maybe having a hard time taking in some spiritual lessons. But nonetheless, um, I feel like that's what you're doing. Um, there's spiritual learning here. There's higher understanding here. Yes, mastery, three of discs. This is working on something diligently, trying to master your craft. That's what I was getting with the high priestess. It's like tapping into your abilities, tapping, in, tapping into your intuition, um, your high priestess. Um, you could be trying to really master this right now. Working on it. And then we got that seven of wands and it did come out reversed, okay? Um, okay, so there's some spiritual lessons, spiritual teachings, maybe some um, things here that are um, maybe maybe it's been hard to um, look at them, face them, um, go through them, but I do feel like with this mastery in the middle, you're working on this. This is in process. This is in a progress. Um, but the seven of wands came out reversed. It could mean, and this is actually not always a bad thing because it means you're maybe giving up some defenses you had or are working on giving up defense mechanisms that you had that were hindering your spiritual growth. So that's what I am getting. And it takes a lot um, of courage to either stand up for your beliefs or to fold down from your beliefs because you realize maybe um, your views have changed or you've done a lot of thinking and realized, oh, um, Maybe, maybe I was standing, you know, up for something that um, now I don't feel I should have fought so hard for. Or vice versa, I'm standing up for something that I feel I should have fought very hard for and I stand by that, but this did come out reverse. So it kind of shows me you may be putting down your wall or your defenses um, against some, maybe some lessons and some um, growth spiritually that you've been trying to make and trying to master your, this part of yourself um, this and then on the bottom here we got the three of swords reversed yeah to heal to heal and to come to a understanding about your pain and your grief um, there could have been some old um, stories things in your life that have been kind of uh, making it hard to heal um, and maybe you you're starting to release some of those uh, uh, like I said like it'd be like defense mechanisms stuff like that um, standing your ground on something um, and then we got the hangman, that perspective. Okay, so this is my little tea spread. So the three, first three cards kind of gives me the picture of kind of what's going on. And then underneath the queen of discs, upright. This is the nurturing mother. This is the earth mother. This is um, the abundant. This is like the mini empress, you know. She isn't quite the empress yet, but she is definitely lets things be what they are. And she has this nurturing energy. She's resourceful. So it's not about, um, she makes do with what she has and she makes the best of what she has. She can make um, something old and rugged be new and shiny and bright. It's like she's very resourceful. Um, you could be working on your resourcefulness in your life and also in yourself, like what, working with what you have and kind of there's this change. Um, you're kind of being shown right now some different perspective, some kind of different per perspective, looking at something differently, your heartache, your pain, your grief, your stories. Um, you're trying, there's a, there's something teaching you showing you the hangman is also you know he's suspended he's froze in 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 this position of trying to see things from another position another angle um so that he can be more understanding and understood outside when he comes down there is a feeling here of uh a surrendering a surrendering to learning something that maybe you were not um up for going in but you are definitely now with the moon and stuff, it could be just really deep, like shadow work and stuff. That is what I am feeling, Sagittarius. So that's really good. Um, <laughs> nothing is wrong with that. Our, you know, that everybody, everybody has to go through this kind of deep contemplation and um, digging and understanding and mixing and meshing and you know, it's 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 the human thing. It's what we're doing, um, especially if you're doing the work and you want to get more in balance in your life or um, grow, expand, and just become more energetically aware of yourself and um, your impact and your creative abilities in your life, like what you can create. 
because this is all about what we create rising i love that oh if i remember right this is the card so this is going to tie up your reading but this is the card that i think talks about the past and it's like i knew no better like um there could be something here in the past that you are learning from and you're dropping your defenses because it's it's a spiritual lesson and you're growing and it's something um that it can affect it it's like better to have it and not need it that lesson that understanding that um understanding of innocence or that 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 message of um forgiveness unconditional love uh that jesus energy that you know that's the best way i can put it rising lmnopqr i still go through my alphabet when i'm okay here we go oh a new day a new dawn here we go oh this isn't the one i thought it was though but the key word to this one is trust a new start for me and with that ace of cups in the pre-shuffle there is like a new emotional start here coming in or happening for you um by taking this path of kind of like dryness aloneness and kind of it it may feel like kind of lonely and like um but there's like this opening at the end where it's like oh but you're bringing something to it you know by it's like there's like a you're clearing up things you're clearing up old negativities and stories it's like a purification too by the moon through the shadows you're purifying that's what i'm feeling a new start for me i have done well everything is taking its place expectations no longer exist all that remains is the knowledge that i dream my life i am the dream that i make real with every step i take that's very very um that reminds me of that desert and the angel guiding the person through the desert. It's like every step I take, I'm creating. It's like, but there's a, like a, a creating right now within, but also with the, the other, the yogic card, it said, um, you've been here for a while. <coughs> so maybe it's time to exercise some of that, practice some of these things that you've taken in and the messages you've gotten outside of yourself. <coughs> Excuse me, Sagittarius. <coughs> oh, Oh, it, it's hot in here. Okay. Life surprises me. My work bears fruit and scatters the seeds of my essence. My waters, my emotions are now in balance. And I'm absolutely aware of my responsibility as a being who dreams the world. I love that. My waters, my emotions are now in balance. And we got that yin yang we got that duality you're working on this balance with your emotions and it's you're seeing its effect it's the innocence and the the balancing and the intuition and it's like oh this is this is how i go through my world like this is i understand that all my emotional stuff is um it's my responsibility like my emotional stuff my stories my creative abilities my co-creation the way i look at things the way i perceive things is my responsibility i'm taking um there's just a feeling here of going through a lot of this thinking about this um it says um i'm aware of my responsibility as a being who dreams the world and there is a lot of dreaming here there's a lot of manifesting um but wanting to manifest from a place that's understanding in the emotional in your emotional unseen world it's like i want it to make sense to both out and in in um trust i stop listening to others and i trust in every step i have walked in what i have created and in what i feel i embrace my past processes that's what i'm feeling with that innocence card too is this past processes of getting through old stories and old um old negativities and we all have a past process and the process lasts forever by the way it doesn't stop and we are always processing we're always growing at least if you're that kind of person you don't just stop and think i'm okay where i'm at and most especially deep emotional spiritual individuals are always um seeking to better understand because understanding is what is going to bring everybody together <laughs> and the world together um and all the energies um balanced out which the world needs we all need in our lives um, i embrace my past processes i taste both the sweet and the bitter everything that happens has its reason even if i can't always see it each situation is perfect for each moment 
Yeah, so like every time something has happened that's been deemed negative or, you know, there's always a reason for it and it happens for a reason. We just might not always understand it. And you could be going through this really deep understanding of this, like a really psychic, deep, um, balancing understanding, trusting, trusting the unseen, trusting the process. Um, in gratitude, in this perfect moment, I trust. I love that, Sagittarius. So that is your guys' reading. I hope it helps somebody. And um, I have got a, a, quite a few new subscribers, so I do want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate you guys. And um, if I think, I, I do try to say this, um, but I do um, appreciate you guys. If you're new, thank you. Welcome. And if you're returning, I appreciate it. And I appreciate your support. Um, I always hope these just reach who they need to reach and um, help who they need to help. And that's my process of trusting. So, um, as always, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later.